Hey guys, so I am here to rant about all these EXO haters and also to congratulate Chris Lee for her win at the EMAs. So before I even get into the whole Chris Lee busker busker situation, I just want to talk about all these EXO haters on Twitter and Tumblr and whatever kind of other social networks haters exist on. I think this all kind of really started when Social Buzz started a hashtag to see who could get most tweeted about for the EMAs. And as soon as I guess the Bleebers and the Directioners realized that it was like a competition and that EXO fans were like slain, it wasn't just EXO fans. Like I said, when K-pop is in a category like this, we're all gonna come together and we're all gonna vote. no matter what you label yourself. I'm a hardcore shallow till I die, but was I voting almost every second of every single day? Mm-hmm, I sure was. And to see all the ignorance, racism, stupidity all over again since like Friday up until now and probably after I upload this video is just disgusting. It was so bad. It made me even feel some type of way about being a human being because when I'm a human being, that means I'm like related to you and I don't even want to be associated with you. It was disgusting. They were calling us deodorant and cleaning supplies and vegetables. And honestly, half the stuff they were saying was so dumb, you just had to laugh at it. Once again, talking shit about stuff that you don't know. Telling Chris to go back to his homeland when sweetheart, sweetie, dumbass, he was born in Canada. The same exact place where your precious Justin Bieber was born too. This is just a simple example of how you can end up looking so stupid without even knowing it. And for all you haters, if you're gonna hate, it's Chris with a K, not a C, get it right. Stop hating on us when you know nothing about us because you're almost always gonna end up looking like a dumbass. Like granted, all these people are probably 12, but who raised you? Like were you raised by monkeys? Like, cause I know if I ever said anything like that, my mom would beat my ass. I was not raised to be ignorant and racist and blatantly stupid. And for people saying, who's XO, they're nobodies. Well, obviously we're not nobodies cause we wouldn't be nominated in the same freaking category as you. Another thing that makes me really frustrated is that y'all were jamming to Gangnam Style. Y'all were lean into that shit and then for you to just come and be like oh girl generation nope exo nope like get over it this is k-pop like it's just music it's not that serious i i promise i promise there are a lot of things in the world sweetie that are way bigger issues than just a music song Ugh, but whatever that's enough of that because haters are gonna hate and racists are gonna burn in the fiery pits of hell so it all works out in the end moving on congratulations again to chris lee for winning worldwide act now i know i know a lot, a lot, a lot of you guys were upset. Like, we tried so hard, we fought so hard for EXO, we got the busker busker of the year. And yes, it's true, we did try really, really hard. But I feel like it'd be really wrong for people to bash her and be like, who is she? How did she win? Where did she come from? Nobody knows who she is and all this stuff. And we were just screaming at the whole world for the same thing that they were doing to Gigi. Just like people don't like racism and ignorance, a lot of people don't like hypocrites too. But I was actually surprised from what I've seen so far is that a lot of people were taking it well. I think we're all really glad to see another Asian artist representing C-pop win the award. But I was just so happy happy to see once again all of us coming together like the big old loving k-pop family that we are when we want to be and just try to get exo this one not even just for them but for k-pop in general the whole k-pop family is kind of like a little sibling you may pick on them you may call them names sometimes but whenever somebody else tries to do it you're like no way that's my brother you can't talk to him like that only i can talk to him like that just like with the k-pop fandom yes we may bicker with each other from time to time but when somebody from the outside tries to come in and start with one of us you're you're getting the whole fandom on your ass. And this is a music award show, so at the end of the day, why can't we just celebrate music? God, it's like the most universal thing ever. Just listen and enjoy and stop the hate. EXO did lose, but I feel like we gained so much more in these moments where we all come together and we're trying to show the world that we're the best, all for the love of K-pop. Worldwide, we all voted like crazy. We definitely tweeted like crazy. And I'm honestly just so proud of us. And like I said, even though we didn't win, all of us coming together and sharing the K-pop love is really one of the best feelings ever. So congratulations again to Chris Lee. Seeing another Asian artist coming and swooping in and taking the award really, really makes me happy still. And all you haters on the outside really, really, really need to learn to stop coming for us because there's so many different colors and dynamics to K-pop that you simple-minded people will never understand. 